Here's how to create this dreamy halftone Y2K effect in Photoshop. Just a disclaimer, the effect values that we'll apply in this video might vary depending on your canvas size or MSI. So it's best to have the same canvas size as me so you can get the exact same results. And then after you're done, you can convert everything to a smart object and then put it in a canvas size of your choice. First, create a solid color layer by going to adjustment, solid color and set it to a grayish color, then hit OK. Add your transparent subject and then convert it to a smart object. In my case, it's already a smart object. Duplicate your layer five times by hitting Ctrl J and group the copies into a folder by selecting them and hitting this icon here. Rename your first layer to main subject and rename your copies from one to five so it's easier to identify. Turn off the visibility of all layers in the group so we can see the effects we apply going forward. Drag layer one under your main subject then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, set the angle to minus 18 and the distance to around 440, then hit OK. Set the layer to Linear Dodge, then select your main subject, go to Adjustments and create a gradient map layer. Open up your gradient. In the Basics folder, apply a default black and white gradient, add a single pin and make sure the location is set to 40%. I'm putting this color, but of course you can put any color you like here. Just make sure you copy it and make sure that color is set as your foreground color here. It's going to be important later on. Select your gradient map layer and clip it to your main subject by hitting this icon or hitting Alt and clicking between the two layers. Enable and select layer number two, then go to filter, pixelate, color halftone and copy these settings. Then hit OK. Then set the layer to soft light. Moving on to layer number three, enable it and select it then go to filter, Blur, Gaussian Blur, set it to 9 pixels, then hit OK. The blending mode should be set to Linear Dodge, and the opacity you can set it to whatever you want. For me, I'm gonna do 15%. Enable and select layer number 4, then go to Filter, Blur, Motion Blur, and set it to around 500 pixels, and the angle to minus 4, then hit OK. Set it to Screen, then go to Adjustments, and add a gradient map layer. Open up your gradient and in the basics folder, apply again a black and white gradient. The location of the first one should be at 25 and the second one set it to 50. Give this pin or a color stop a color black and the second one give it this blue color. You can copy this code, same as the first gradient. You can put any color you like here, it doesn't have to be blue. After you're done, hit OK, then clip the gradient map to the fourth layer. Group everything into one layer by hitting Ctrl, Shift, Alt, E. It's a long shortcut, I know, but you can see it on the screen here. Convert the layer to a smart object and make sure your foreground color is the same color we gave it earlier. Then go to Filter, Filter Gallery, and in the Sketch folder, apply a halftone pattern. Set the size to 3 and the contrast to 15, and the pattern type set it to dot. Then hit OK. Set the layer's blending mode to overlay. Then lastly, enable and select the fifth layer. Then go to Filter, Blur, motion blur, set the angle to 14 and the distance to 265, then hit OK. Then set the layer to lighten. The last thing I'm gonna add is this printer trash texture from AAA Studio. I'll put a link to it in the description below. And you're done. If you found this tutorial helpful, make sure to like and subscribe and comment what effect I should cover next. And see you next time.